what's good youtube it's your boy demonte the trucker we back with another video right now we're picking up day day my baby she's five months but yeah youtube we finally we had an option between two or three companies but we finally picked the company uh we scheduled for orientation on the 7th of october but we probably gonna uh try to push it up a week and say we go to 30th of september if not, it's no big deal, but we good. P we not with PGT anymore. But I was gonna show you how the real deal, YouTube, how it's gonna go, and what company we got once we get there. I'm gonna show y'all what company I have once I finish everything. That's with the text or something. But yeah, the reason I left PGT was the pay fluctuated a lot. One week I'll get a thousand, next week I'll get anything between 400 to 600 dollars and another week i get yeah go back up to like 800 dollars i wasn't wasn't hitting a thousand anymore it just fluctuated a lot like i get 850 dollars then next week my paycheck will be 300 dollars then it'll go back up but i was saving a lot man it's just the areas that i was running they kept me out of my region they didn't run me what I signed up for and they didn't have a lot of freight available in the areas they were sending me. Like, I don't see why companies send you to an area to deliver when they know they don't have freight coming out. A lot of companies do have freight coming out where they send you at, but I guess PGT, I don't know what was going on, man. I guess they were losing a lot of shippers or whatnot, but they didn't have a lot of freight to go around. Some days I'll be sitting for a long time. I had to day ahead 300 some miles when I get paid percentage. I won't get paid the day ahead for the miles. So I, it wasn't it wasn't really worth it to me on all that day ahead. Cause you would deliver. And once you deliver, you would wanna pick up close to where you drop off at so you have enough time to pick up and secure everything. But once you got a day head 300 so miles, you ain't gonna make it the same day as you drop off. So then that's gonna mess up your clock again. So and then you're gonna have to repeat that process of keep messing up your clock. And when you drop off, you can't catch up to be ahead of things. That's that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to run run hard, but they didn't have the free available to run hard. Pick up a little drop off the next morning. Go pick up something else. Secure it and keep running like that. But the way PGT was operating, they didn't have enough freight to go around. Go. I don't know what they was doing, man, but it just didn't work out for me. I was trying to hang on, but it just, I kept nagging them to offer a tarp pay, but they didn't want to pay me for tarping. So I don't think anybody with PGT get paid for tarping. So I think that's pointless to have people doing stuff that you're not paying them to do. They had you do a lot of stuff you wasn't getting paid to do. That's why I was trying to hang in there with somebody calling. Thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all already know it's Demonte the Trucker. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Demonte the Trucker. Thank y'all for watching.